Hey there and welcome to a new Blender tutorial where I'm going to show you the easiest and fastest way to make a radial array. So without any further ado, let me first show you the old method which we used to use just so you can appreciate how fast it is now. I'm just going to mock up a quick object which I'm going to array. You do not need to follow any of this. This is just for educational purposes. Something like this. Now you would take that object and displace it the amount of meters from the center that you want. So in my case I want it to be like 10 meters away and then shift uh, control A, apply the location so the origin is back into the center. And now I want to create an empty and let's just say I want to have 12 instances around the circle. So I would take that empty, go to the rotation type in 360 degrees and then divide it by the amount of instances that I want to have uh, arrayed here. Then I would go to the base object, go to the modifiers, click on array, turn off the relative offset, turn on the const the object offset and under the object I want to choose the empty and now I can array this exactly 12 times. But the magic starts to disappear once you do more. So let's just say we want 13. Yeah, there is no 13th. If I wanted to have 13, then I would have to take 360 and then divide it by 13. And then I would get this amount of degrees, right? And whenever you try to change something, you would have to change it on the empty as well. And that is very, very, very tedious. So let's just say I have a new method, which I'm going to use a cube for, because I wasn't smart enough to duplicate my object. So I want that rounded cube, right? And I want to array it around the circle X amount of times. I will take that cube, go into the geometry node tab, click on new, and then I want to instance that cube on some points, right? And uh, we want to take your geometry and put it into the instance because the cube is going to be the instance which we, are, which we are going to place on the points. Now, where do we get the points? We will get ourselves a circle, mesh circle, and plug the mesh into the points. And right as you can see, you get this sort of thing. Now, the cube seems to be a little bit too big, but now you have 32 instances around a circle. Now, let's just say I want 12. You would see I have 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, or just three. It doesn't matter how many you want. You can just put them in here. And I think this is really the easiest way to do it. You just need two nodes and you can do everything in here that you want. Also, you can just take this, rotate it. Let's just say you have like, like 10 instances, right? And you have a a uh, weird thing where it goes like this and uh, you want to like put it onto this here then you can just turn on snapping face snapping and turn on the uh, align rotation to target put it in here scale it down and boom very easy very easy to follow and you should be gucci with this now, without any further ado, that would be it, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.